we have something super exciting to share, Bottega Veneta unboxing. So we did get a new bag. We have been considering this for a while and we've gone to the store a billion times and we've looked at all the different colors, all the variations, and we finally did decide on this. So if you wanna pause and guess what I got, you'll probably never guess because it's something that I never thought could be classic until it's released for a few years. So this bag, um, has come out pre-fall 2019, designed by Daniel Lee. Um, after he, his departure, this bag is still a classic. So it's been three years now, and I have decided that this is the one. This is the bag. So are you ready? I already took it out of the bag. This is her. Look how pretty she looks and so puffy. Oh my gosh, she is so, 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 so gorgeous. I normally don't really go for crossbodies, but this is so pretty and she is definitely 100% a classic. And I'm gonna tell you a little story all about it. So this, first of all, the leather is so luxurious. I've already been using this just to, so I could see some wear and tear and um, just what I feel about it overall, but it's so puffy. And literally I feel so happy carrying this around. Like it's just, I, I honestly, half the time I do wear it almost like a clutch and I do hide the strap inside ooh, as well. And it does have um, like another pocket inside, but sometimes I do just shove the entire strap into the bag and use it more of a clutch, especially for evening looks, but definitely so beautiful and such a pillowy, so soft. It is literally so soft. And okay, honestly, the details is what I feel attracted me to this the most. Um, I love that triangular buckle as well as this magnetic clasp inside. It also has that triangular, like iconic look to it. It's actually super easy to put in and out. So if you're wondering that, it's actually super easy. Um, the other thing is I actually had to clean out this bag before filming this and I found some change that just literally got stuck right in between these crevices. So you gotta be really careful if you put in small items and it, you don't wanna just throw it in because spaces in between the weave that you can actually see. So if you're to put tiny change or little things, it's actually gonna slip out. So I wouldn't throw your engagement ring in here because there's actually a chance it would slip out if it didn't have another pouch. Um, so everything about this bag is just one big compartment inside and it does have one, um, Beautiful zipper. Just that um, authenticity card. So just one zipper. It, it, the nice thing is that zipper actually goes all the way from front to the end. A lot of bags, they don't do that for whatever weird reason. The zippers only go like one, two thirds. Um, and then they do have one more kind of a compartment in the back that you can kind of split your, your things between, but it, it is opened at the bottom. So it's like, let me show you. This part actually, you can almost take it out. So you can put things in the back and the front, but it is just one compartment. So it's just like a divider really that goes from the front and the back. And there's nothing in the back. Something I wish they had was like, maybe if it was one weave that you could Put your phone in the back that would be really cool or if like one of the weaves was like extra big so you can kind of like shove your phone in um i just really like something easy to put my phone because i'm like always holding it and i don't like opening my bag and closing it 
but overall i love this i don't actually have that many caramel bags or brown bags and i do think it's super super classy it matches completely with what i'm wearing i definitely chose this outfit to share this bag with you today um, but this goes so well with winter fall colors and even summer I would consider this like bright yellow more of a summer color and this cardigan more of like a fall and winter So it definitely goes with all season. I wouldn't say this necessarily Went with one season or another the other bag I was considering really really hard actually. I really did want to get the chain um, cassette um, Instead of just the padded cassette with the strap because I do like that top handle um, but this right now, it's currently priced at 3,900 USD for this padded version. And for the chain cassette, it's 5,000 USD right now. And the only thing different is literally that there's a chain top handle and the chain strap. So, and it becomes a lot heavier. That's the other thing that's kind of a con. It becomes super, super heavy. Um, but the leather and everything, the shape aesthetically, it's pretty much identical so you're really just paying a thousand one hundred dollars for the chain so i didn't necessarily feel like it was worth it i do feel that this is a classic bag um mainly because it's not too stand out of a design like if you weren't a Bottega fan you might not actually even know that this bag is Bottega and Bottega over these many many decades have always had very classic designs that don't necessarily have logos or major branding on it it's not like it has a big prada sign or versace which i think can very quickly age a bag um but Bottega, one of the best things about it is that it's like a if you know you know brand most people know now but it's still a if you know you know brand um because it doesn't really have any significant branding on it and there has been a lot of dupes of this um, but I think nothing compares to the softness and the pillowiness of the actual Bottega bag compared to dupes and such. Um, I, I have felt a bunch of like dupes, like even, I don't know, like Zara now, they've been coming out with this kind of style, but it's really incomparable for the leather. It's so soft. And you know that Bottega has been known for their leather for their entire years. I have another Bottega bag from way back, maybe like 10 years ago, that's no longer very popular, but it's a hobo bag with the same um, classic weave. And the leather is still so, so soft and so beautiful. So Bottega is really known for their craftsmanship and their leather. So I do feel that this is gonna last for a very, very long time. So this, it's just gorgeous. I love the classic colors. I never used to be a big fan of brown. I'm going to be honest. Um, but when Chanel came out with that caramel classic flap, I got hooked. And then like that classic Hermes gold togo, I again got hooked. And now this. So um, for a lot of skin tones, actually, this brown or gold color actually is really, really nice. Um, even if you have a lighter, more fair skin or a darker skin, actually brown goes really, really well. I used to, I think, I used to just think it was more of a grandma color and I would just stay away from all browns because um, I thought it looked like poop or like grandma, very grandma-y. Um, but I really do think that it is a super classic, so beautiful, so, so nice. Okay, so let me just show you. It's actually super roomy. Let me do a quick show and tell. So let's say I don't have too many things I carry around. So like I have a card holder here um, and another mini wallet. So those both fit in here. And then if you have your phone, like a lipstick, A compact again don't put too like small of things this is like eyelash glue for another makeup and airpods with like a massive case and I just like to carry around sometimes a bit of a tissue with me so actually that all fits really really nicely and I did not even um, 
work very hard to organize that but that all fits let me just try closing it so that's like the stuffed capacity so i would say like look at that and it is super puffy so that's just the look so this is like completely filled i have everything i need in here but i can't fit anything more in so can fit again like what i put in tissue airpods eyelash glue from me lipstick compact your phone card holder and another's mini wallet and that like all fits really really well i think it's nice because this weave almost gives a little bit of flexibility but you can definitely fit a lot of lot of stuff if you want it if you could even put like a mini water bottle which i wouldn't ever do but you could even put like a mini water bottle or if you had like a miniature umbrella you could put it in here um so it's super roomy um definitely you can carry all your essentials and more this is definitely more of more than just an evening bag like this is definitely like a daily daily wear and i'm just gonna add in some mod shots one of the really nice things how soft the leather is is that this strap where you ever you adjust it it actually lays fairly flat there are some bag brands i know that whenever you fix the crossbody the the part that hangs out literally curls up really really high and actually that's a really big pet peeve of mine so overall i don't mind that this just flares up a tiny bit um, and i usually try to weigh it down before i wear it so i'm five foot one and right now this is set at around um it's not even the shortest length there's one more hole before the shortest length but this actually fits me really well it hits me just right above the hip here um so this just for like a slightly longer crossbody so i normally would just wear it with this and something super cash with this too so that's what i would normally do um and then as a shoulder bag it fits right now at a little bit of a longer shoulder bag my hip is right here so it fits a little bit lower than my natural hip length and then some i'm i do like to carry it like this quite a bit just holding it on my side right under my arm i try to kind of tuck the strap underneath um if i'm really trying to get at like an evening bag like i said in the beginning i do fold up the strap nicely it is not removable so i i do wish it was because it does come with like these rivets right here and then so it almost looks like it could be removable but usually i just fold in the strap super super nicely so it doesn't crease within the bag and then i fold it up so if i'm using this as like an evening clutch kind of thing i don't put too much in the bag because i don't want the strap inside to crease but i it's really easy to just fold the strap in and then i literally hold it like a clutch so you kind of get that two or three in one even though the strap's not removable but i love it i love holding it as a clutch but definitely less convenient just because the strap is still inside um but so gorgeous and i have been using this for a bit but it's actually really really durable um you would think that this leather this lambskin leather is hard to take care of but it really isn't um i did get a little bit of a mark right at the bottom here i don't know if you can see that but it did kind of wear off um and because it is a darker color i feel that in the future it may patina a little bit um and over time it is still the marks kind of smooth out but i have just been throwing this bag around um as like a daily bag and it still looks really brand new like it looks super super good so um that's really it um if you do consider this bag really it's mainly for that crossbody look and i think it looks the best like this anyways with that triangular um shape that buckle right at the front is how I like to wear it the most. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this new unboxing and I will see you again soon. Bye.